please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Celeste Njimi. And I'm Sammy Salibi. And coming up on today's show, we have some important announcements for the upperclassmen. As well as a brand new sports shield. So let's jump right in because, because GTV, GTV News, News starts, starts right, right now. now. Welcome back, Geneva, and here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, February 1st, 2022. Don't forget that this week is Winter Wonderland Week. That's right, Sammy. Yesterday, we started off this week with Comfy Day, and as you can see, today is Country versus Country Club Day. Tomorrow is a Whiteout Day. Thursday is Jersey Day, and Friday is Blue Out. We also have many games held at GHS throughout the week, so stay tuned. As part of the Winter Wonderland festivities, there is a cookie decorating competition this week. Clubs that usually meet today, such as GTV, FCCLA, and SAD Club, will meet on Thursday instead for the cookie decorating contest. It will be in the cafeteria from 3 until 4.15 p.m. Students will also be writing letters to a local senior living community. The Volley for a Cause event was a huge hit last night. 16 teams came out to compete and they all crushed it. The PE teachers team ended up winning the competition, so congratulations to them. Registration alone brought in over $500 for Live Like a Unicorn, a pediatric cancer research charity. Organizers are hoping to donate over $1,000. Shout out to all of you that came out to cheer them on and support a good cause. And in sports news, we have some big wins from our teams here at Geneva. GTV's Quinn Kennedy tells us more about it in today's new Sports Shield report. Quinn? Hello, Geneva. Welcome back to Sports Shield. Let's dive right in. Congratulations to the Geneva Girls dance team. They finished off another amazing year by placing second in the IHSA State Finals. Dozens of family and friends traveled to ISU campus to see the girls get their award. It was quite a weekend. And back home on Monday, they were treated to a school parade. Great job to all of the dancers and coaches for another stellar season. Congrats to the cheer team for competing in the IHSA State Sectionals and placing 10th. The girls' basketball got two huge conference wins this weekend. They first took care of St. Charles North at home, winning 66-50, and then they took their show on the road against Batavia, and they won 50-39. Their next games are on Thursday versus St. Charles East, and on Saturday versus Wheaton North, which is their senior night. The boys' basketball team had an even split over the weekend. They lost on Friday against Wheaton Warrenville, but then roared back on Saturday against Prairie Ridge to secure a win in overtime, 48-41. The Geneva Varsity Gymnastics team earned a score of 140.15 at their conference meet this past weekend, earning them third place in conference regional. Regionals are this Thursday, February 3rd at 6 p.m. in the Mac Olson Gym. Be sure to pack the Mac. To any boys interested in tennis, today there will be a tennis meeting from 3.30 to 4 in room J230. If you cannot make it, please email Coach Barabbas or see Coach Evans. That's all the news I have for you today, Geneva. Back to the desk. Thanks, Quinn, and a big congratulations to the boys' swim team who finished their dual meet season with victories at the varsity and JV levels against Bennett last week. This is Dylan Clark swimming on the first place 200 yards free relay. They've had an undefeated season. The team celebrated the win with their families cheering them on. Girls Bowling won their dual meet against Larkin High School on Monday with a score of 1,833 to 1,601. Nice job, girls. Attention, all juniors and seniors, we have some big announcements regarding the end of the year. 
Seniors, your graduation this year will be held at the Northern Illinois University Convocation Center in the Cobb on May 31st. More details regarding times and tickets will come soon. Juniors and seniors, it's official. Prom is returning. The big event will take place on Saturday, May 14th at the Museum of Science and Industry. Tickets will be on sale during the month of April for $145 per person, which includes the cost for post-prom. An email was sent out with all this information and more, including some guidelines regarding guests and COVID. And now for a quick look at today's weather. There is going to be a high of 43 and a low of 16. And now here's three to know before we go. Photo Club will be meeting today in D160. Contact Mrs. Fami with any questions. Be sure to stop by the main office at 3 p.m. for an ice cream and hot chocolate social as part of our Winter Wonderland Week. Juniors, don't forget to sign up for your mandatory conference with your counselors. All right, Geneva, that looks like all the news I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed our packed show today. I'm Celeste Njimi. And I'm Sammy Salibi. Have a tasty Taco Tuesday, Geneva.